I have a question for Dr. Baker. Uh, I had from your information that you've done some work in Honduras. Do you see a big difference between the way people, our parents and, and children, handle this whole obesity issue and exercise versus here? Or are they just behind on the curve from us and they're eventually, unfortunately, catching up? Or what do you see? Going to the earlier question as well, they're starting to catch us as well. Think about in a, the second poorest country in the Northern Hemisphere is that high carbohydrate foods, corn is a frequent source, it's a filler. So they're having, you know, as a meal, they're having tortillas. Yeah. So one of the examples is, is that I have seen a patient that we're actually working on, she's diabetic with a large dental hernia, that we've had her work on losing weight down. So when I go back in February, we have plans to repair this large hernia. But I wanted her to lose an additional 40 or 50 pounds before doing that to help get more satisfactory repair. There, uh, fast foods are taking over. When you get off the plane into Dusseldorfa, uh, you walk out the airport, out of the international terminal, and right across the street is a Burger King. Okay? Right across the street from the, the, the teaching hospital at Escuela is a Dunkin' Donuts. Okay? People there will spend the money, even though it costs more, they go to the fast food places to eat out instead of going to a, more, to a restaurant that would serve healthier food. Obesity is becoming an issue around our world, not just in the United States and in a, in a very developed country, but also in the undeveloped countries and the poor countries around the world as well.